Hi guys, welcome to another video from Exorno Complete Solutions YouTube channel. And today we're going to be looking at and unboxing the Magic Track Pad from Apple, which I picked up earlier today. Um, it is basically a product for your normal iMac, or even if you're using the MacBook laptop as well, if you want an external touchpad for ease of use. Um, so, quick look at the box. It's quite plain and normal sort of Apple styling, very white and simple, but very clean looking. Um, the box does look quite expensive, but obviously the, the product is premium, so it is going to cost a bit more. But it does look very nice as well, good value for money. Um, so, on the box, we've well, got the product name, Magic Trackpad. It's a wireless and multi touch trackpad, and it's in several different languages. Um, it's obviously wireless, um, Apple logo here and here. Uh, on the bottom, it's got the requirements. So, it requires a Bluetooth enabled Mac with Mac OS 10.6.5 or later and latest software update, so you want to make sure you update before you try and install this. Um, and you need the existing keyboard and mouse for the setup. Um, comes with the batteries, which is really very handy. Um, as I warned you, not all applications support multi-touch control, because of course this is a multi-touch device. So on the back, we have a quick spiel. Um, let your fingers do clicking, scrolling and swiping, just as you would on a MacBook. So it's probably aimed at people who have a MacBook and like the way it uses, rather than using the uh, magic mouse here, which is still a very good product. So it has a quick demonstration of all the gestures, so at a glance you can see what they are. Um, so you've got screen zoom, pinch, rotate, point, click, double click, all that normal stuff. Um, and there is some very good videos on the Apple website and on inside the actual system preferences as well. So let's have a quick look inside. Um, it's currently straightened up, so we'll be using our handy unboxing knife. There now. Hope it's not damaged the box too much. So pull it off. Um, nice little tab and lift there and lift up. So inside the box, sort of straight to the product, that is protected by sort of plastic wrapping. Um, so you can see the product quite nicely without sort of opening it, so you can take it back if you wanted. Um, you can see what we have in the box. We have a little Apple book, we made the trap bag probably all instructions on how to pair it and stuff like that but it's pretty easy um, so let's have a look so it's quite a large surface a bit larger than you see on a, on a laptop which is quite nice because on a desktop you're going to be using it more if you want a bit more room to manoeuvre um, we have the power button on the side so it's out of the way but nice and it also matches the same styling on the keyboard so it all look quite nice on your desk um, and on the other side the place the battery goes so a coin or a small flat screwdriver, twist that out, batteries come out. I believe it's AA batteries, might be AAA. Um, it's aluminium with sort of plasticky bottom to it, matching the keyboard as well, so same material. Um, and rubber feet to stop it from sliding around. Um, judging that there's not many LEDs on it, the battery probably has quite a long time, and I imagine it would shut down as normal as per the devices as well. So I'll be having a play with this and letting you give me my feedback. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and any questions, please let us know. Thanks.